up, you guys? It's Odir, aka The Overview, and I guess we got another trailer Tuesday on our hands with The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. And before I can get into anything about The Walking Dead, I could just say I haven't finished season 11. I do know we're in the middle of a spinoff, and this is the second amount of spinoffs we're going to have, besides the third one, which is coming out next year with Rick and Michonne. Um, I still got to finish The Walking Dead season 11, because I was one of the guys who skipped out on the last two seasons after Rick left. And because I was tired of week-to-week -week episodes and binging and then separating season 11 into three different parts. I'm going to get to that at some point. And I feel like I have to get to it now because everything is coming out fast. Um, the Walking Dead Dead City, I know it's on for right now. I guess two episodes are out right now at the moment. I'm going to talk about that show the moment it ends. But I do. That doesn't mean I can't talk about the third iteration of the show we're going to get, which is Daryl Dixon. And I can just say this. Daryl was one of my favorite episodes episodes characters of the show as the series went along and i can't wait to say that i can't lie and say for the few bits and pieces i saw of daryl as a leader i'm i'm impressed but it's not like he's not fully committed to being the leader role rick was he was a, the side character the partner but he hasn't shown that much potential becoming a leader i might i haven't seen season 11 so i don't know how far that development went but I can say this, that he was one of my favorite characters. It's cool that he's getting a spinoff. And especially since I was at the New York Comic Con panel for The Walking Dead. I know that his show is going to take place in Paris. But the thing is, from where it ended on the show, I don't know if it's spinned off to him like, oh, I'm leaving the group or I'm staying within the group for something. Or I'm on my way to go find Rick because Michonne left. I don't know. To be honest, I feel like I have to catch up on the main series to know what's going on in this show. Like the same way the whole Dead City thing is dealing with Maggie and Negan on their own. Away from the main group, away from Alexandria, but who's to say? Let's get into the first look of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. Alright guys, let's get into the trailer, or should I say sneak peek in 3, 2, 1. My name's Daryl Dixon. I come from a place called the Commonwealth. So they took over the Commonwealth, okay. And... I went out looking for something. Oh, I thought I was trouble. I guess he is on the search for Rick. If I don't make it back, I want to know I tried. Hell, I'm still trying. Is he already in Paris? Guess not. <laughs> He's like a nomad. <laughs> this AMC Plus budget must be crazy for them to do the shots like this. Yep, he's in Paris now. From that little spray paint, even though it looks the same. Hmm. It's a short sneak peek, but I guess that'll, that'll do for now. It's still early enough to judge it for what I can see. I still have to watch the main series to know how it ends. Like, I do know from where it left off, they were still dealing with the Whispers, and now they're going into the Commonwealth since Maggie came back on the show. Um, I could say I'm, ex I'm not too excited with the Walking Dead things at the moment, because to me, the show died a bit when they killed off Carl. 
in my opinion, because there's a lot of the key factors people think already killed off the show in their eyes. To me, it was when they killed off Carl, because I know that's the family element that Rick had to deal with. And now with Carl gone, Rick has no point in just surviving now instead of just being there for his people in the group. But then when they took off Rick from the show and we had to deal with everything from Daryl, Michonne, Negan, everybody else, it's not the same because you don't have the key thing that held the show together from season one since everything started with Rick. He built everything on for the ground to, for everybody to survive. And with the side characters, it was fine. Daryl held his own for a few episodes. Michonne was good enough as a leader on her behalf. But I feel like the thing that would have been better for the main show would have been to just keep Carl alive, have Rick die, quote unquote, at that point, have Carl take over as the leader, him be the one key factor, keeping everyone together since he was there from the beginning, including Daryl, and we would have seen a better thing go on, at least try to adapt the story from the comics as well as you can do it into the show, have Rick come in during the final season, and at least have him go off in a hero's journey knowing he was kidnapped, either tortured, done something. I don't know what, what was happening to him as he was kidnapped or that he went off into the plane with Janice. But who's to say? I'm not a creator of the show. I don't know whether I would have wrote a better ending, but at least we would have ended the show off freely and have our characters at least survive for what it was. And I guess what I can say is now that they're doing their own story, I guess we'll see where it goes. It looks like he's searching for Rick. Which I don't know if it's going to culminate into one whole Walking Dead episode. At least where the Negan and Maggie thing. I think that's going to be a limited series. I don't know if they're going to try and continue it for a couple more seasons. Or if they're going to just have to do a one-off and then it's done. Same thing with the Daryl show. I don't know if it's going to be a one-off. The Rick and Michonne, I feel like that's going to be like the finale finale of The Walking Dead. Unless they want to do something else. Like what they did with The Walking Dead. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. But it's like... The anthology show, I don't know what it's called. The, uh, the Walking Dead anthology that had Terry Crews, um, Olivia Munn, and some other cast members from other things you already know into the Walking Dead universe in their own individual stories. I don't know if it's going to be like that. I know Fear of the Walking Dead is ending its final season at the moment, but I still got to catch up. I've only stuck with around with it for a few seasons, and I could just say The Walking Dead is the one show I've actually been on and off about. Ever since it came out, I've started watching it on Netflix, then to AMC, and now to watch it as as it is. Eh, it's had its ups and downs, but still, I can't say I had made a few good memories out of it. Alright guys, that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.